Dub C here, and we're back with another MRE Rash for you. Today I'm outside enjoying the beautiful weather. It's fall, it's getting a little bit chilly, the leaves are starting to turn, and I'm getting hungry. I'm on keto still, so luckily I got the Arctic Field Ration, menu number eight. Keto Ration. This is from Minotaur Trading Company. I'm really glad they decided to uh, work on a menu, I believe it's Shocker 71 and uh, Black Dog Bob, Bob Gaskins. To get a keto-friendly option out there, because there's just not that many options for those who want to stay on the same nutritional need. But the food looks real good. I'm really excited to try it out. So let's bust this open and see what we got. Okay, so we have the Arctic Field Ration from Minotaur Trading Company. Keto Ration, Menu 8, Rosemary Chicken with Broccoli. Has all the ingredients on the back if you want to see those. And there's quite a bit of food in here. I'm only going to be having uh, just a snack of each because... There's a lot of calories in here. I've already had one meal today, so I'm gonna do about 1,000, 1,100 calories, but that's probably the main, the soup, um, one of the true oranges, one of the almonds, just basically one of everything, and then uh, hop some coffee and see what we got inside. I really like the boxes, really sturdy. I had my backpack, no problem. So first thing we got is the MRE spoon. We have some uh, water purification tabs. We got two cheese spread, which are definitely keto friendly. We have a French onion soup. We have two packs of the almonds. We got two packs of the sugar free trail mix. Here's the two or, uh, true oranges for drinks. We have two coffees. We have a wet nap. Uh, Tabasco, which would be awesome for that megabyte. A salt and a pepper. This is the um, good chocolate. So another zero sugar, dark chocolate. Uh, just really organic and just pretty awesome. It is pretty high in calories, which is good um, if you're uh, you know out and about, especially in keto. But it's very uh, good for keto and paleo friendly. Very cool. Then uh, two creamers, if you want in their coffee. Uh, there's the water purification tab. And here's the main. So we got the rosemary chicken with broccoli. Keto approved, 670 calories. It's got the instructions on it. Let's go ahead and get the water warmed up and let's get started on that. All right, quick snapshot of all the items that come inside uh, this ration. And then I'll separate them and set up what we're gonna eat. We got everything set up that I'm uh, going to eat today. I'm gonna do a double shot of coffee. Got the cheese spread, got the main. Some almonds, sugar-free trail mix, French onion soup, and the good chocolate. And then I'm going to make my true orange drink real quick. Let's throw this true orange into the water. Sometimes just, you know, having water is nice, but it's always nice to add a little flavor to it. Make it even better. All right, our water is ready. It's time to get the main open. We have the basically instructions right there hot, eight ounces of hot water and let sand for uh, 15 minutes and then drain excess water and season to taste so put about seven ounces of water in there that's uh looks like it's got the seasoning go ahead and give it a shake i would always recommend giving a little shake too uh, after you add the water it says eight ounces we're going to go about seven first and if we need to add more we can kind of spread it out really like these packagings because you can just flatten them out, fold it over, and you give it a good shake. And you always want to make sure you get that, re there's a nice gusset here. You can open it up and let it sit. But you also want to make sure there's no powder in the gusset or seasoning or anything like that. We've got our French onion soup. Go and pop that open real quick. You can eat it in the pouch, uh, but I got a little pan I'm going to make it up in. The soup. Then uh, add eight ounces of water to that and we'll cover it. Give it a good stir. Instantly get that nice rich onion flavor or smell. Smell it so good I can taste it. And then uh, cover that up so it keeps all that steam in there and we can make our coffee let's so add to the deep rich to the hot water 
a nice double shot going. I'm not going to add the creamer. No creamer for me. I just like uh, coffee. Plain. Don't need no additives. And boom. We are ready to go. We got all the hot water, all the mains, and the soup setting up, and the coffee is done. So let's try some of this sugar-free trail mix. It's got me really excited because... Uh, Trail mix is one thing you definitely can't have on keto with the raisins and other things that kind of get in there and then throw your carb balance off. So let's see what we got in here. Oh, wow. Got some walnuts, some almonds, and this is uh, like a sugar-free chocolate. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. That is really good. The chocolate, you can't even tell that's like keto chocolate. The walnuts give it, they have that lot of high high good fats in them and the almonds got that salt comes together really well and wash it down with some of this uh, coffee the coffee is perfect in my opinion having the two in there with that amount of water nice bold flavor and it pairs very well with this uh, sugar-free trail mix really good now one thing about keto is you do have to eat a lot of almonds almonds are the safe and go-to and so we got the, another pack of almonds just regular salted almonds Go ahead and give those a try. Salted almonds are really good. I really enjoy almonds. Um, they're one of my good fillers for keto. So it's, I enjoy having a little pack, a couple packs of them in this one so you can have them for snacks on the go. You know, you pull them out of your pocket, you can eat them, and you don't have to stop. So this is uh, some true orange in water. Let's go ahead and take a drink of that. True orange water is really good. It's actually very refreshing. It's like um, taking a lime or a, a fresh slice orange and placing it in the uh, water to give you a different flavored water because sometimes like I said this water gets overwhelming looks like the French onion soup is ready to go so we're going to uh, take a bite of that all right the French onion soup is very bold flavor uh, strong onion flavor really good to me I enjoy onions and it's just really nice to have something different you know uh, during keto because I usually will eat a lot of the close to the same things and having another option like this is great. All right, let's go ahead and open this uh, main up and see what we got. Looks like it reconstituted pretty good. We got the chicken and broccoli and some seasoning in there. Let's go ahead and get a bite of that. The chicken and broccoli just reconstituted perfectly. It's like fresh chicken and broccoli. The seasoning came through really well. The rosemary, it, uh, I mean, it just kind of infused with all the the chicken pieces and the broccoli but it's time to get that mega bite so we're going to be mixing some stuff up a little bit all those is good really good by itself i'm throwing it in the french onion soup to get that bowl flavor amp it up a little bit you always got to make sure you get your seasonings on the bottom then we're going to add some cheese and some tabasco and while this is that main was really good by itself like i said i like bold flavors I like the Tabasco, and that's why it came with it. Seasoned to, it says it right on the package, seasoned to taste. So I can add the spice to it with the Tabasco. And I'm going to add some cheese, because I think that'll be a perfect topper. I forget it's getting colder out, so it's going to be harder to deal with these cheese packets, peanut butter, first strike bars. I'm going to warm them up pre-using them. Because they're starting to get, uh, I even tried kneading this, and it still stayed solid. All right, so we got the Tabasco, the French onion soup, the main, everything all mixed up in there. Let's get a big old mega bite. Here we go. All right, that's just amazing. So all comes together really well. The French onion soup gives it that bold flavor. The seasonings of rosemary are there. The cheese makes it seem like it's a, a cheesy broccoli chicken soup with a kick. And this is just a really dynamic flavor. For being on keto to uh i mean i I'd, I'd enjoy this not on keto so just a great main now man i absolutely smashed that main that was great but we got one more thing to try so we have the good chocolate it's 54 percent uh cocoa to dark milk zero sugar and seven net carbs it's got a really nice packaging it's a huge bar too look at the size of that thing i mean i'm not gonna be able to eat all this in one go but I'll take one of the bricks and give it a shot because that'd be a perfect dessert. It tastes like normal chocolate to me, uh, dark chocolate flavor, very bold, and um, 
Like I said, being on my keto, I don't have a lot of sweet things. So when I have something semi-sweet like this, potentially, it makes it super sweet, which is really good. And it also be really good to mix with some almonds that I have left over. So really awesome dessert. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up, and we'll talk more in Final Thoughts. So final thoughts on menu number eight, Arctic Field Ration. This is the rosemary chicken with broccoli, and it's a keto ration. I tell you what, it's pretty awesome. Really enjoyed all the flavors. The main was fantastic by itself, but I really, I like amping it up, so I mixed it with the French onion soup. That was delicious. I had the Tabasco and the cheese to even amp it up even more, and it was just fantastic. I mean, this, this is comparable to another ration that isn't keto-friendly. You know, that it, I wouldn't even consider that keto-friendly to me. It's, it's, it's like a cheat day. And this would help me sustain even better, and it had, and it will. Uh, so really cool to have this. The, all the chocolate substitutes were really sweet to me, but again, I don't have a lot of sweet things being on the keto, so it was a really nice change up. But overall, great ration. If you want one, go ahead and check out MinotaurTradingCompany.com. The link will down, be down below, and use Dub C for that 10% off. But uh, I'm gonna be getting some more of these so I can hit the trail and be, you know, keto uh, ready if needed. So that's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.